Hello beautiful beings, welcome back to my channel. This tapping video is very special for me. So this, the script that I created for this video is pulled from an actual session that I had with a very prominent EFT tapping coach in YouTube. Um, he might be in my channel sometime soon and let's see but if you guys didn't know coaches have coaches okay um and we're always working on something and i try to always be as transparent as i can with you guys as i learn you will learn um i feel like i haven't been here as often the past maybe two three months because I've been working and I've been going through some stuff with purging. After I dropped this video, a video talking all about purging is going to come out maybe the week after that. Um, it's getting recorded right, before, right after this one. So first thing I'm going to say, this is not just, this is going to be a, a longer tapping video. I want you guys to give yourself grace. Um, I think it is finally time that we start to invest in ourselves. Even if that's just committing to a practice, committing to something that you know is going to work for you if you stay consistent. Um, this, I am wanted and chosen. I have other videos where we just tap in the affirmations. But I have realized that for a lot of people, there is still that bit of resistance. So this video is going to be a combination of releasing the negative emotions, the trauma, and then tapping in the affirmations. Because when you're working on a field, you would want to pull the weeds out first before you plant in the good seeds. So this is what we're going to do. Tap along to this video a minimum of 30 days. You might go through purging. That is the essential point of this video. We want to get all that nasty shit out. Clear it out, okay? If you see me looking down, is because I have my script. As you can see, it's a long script. I have my script here, and I still need to figure out a way how to have it in front of me so I'm not constantly looking down. But that's not gonna keep me from sharing the information with you, okay? So I want you to start relaxing into yourself I want you to just at the beginning try to listen to my words let the words sink in okay this tapping is all about wanting yourself it's all about feeling safe within yourself it's about choosing yourself because this is your choice this is your reality this is your playground. You are wanted because you wanted to be here in this experience. Because you chose to be here. Because you were chosen by a bigger power to be here. Okay? So we're going to close our eyes. I want you to take a deep breath in. And exhale. And breathe in again and exhale again now I want you to start tapping the back of your hand you don't have to tap that hard but that softly find find what's comfortable to you and you can either just listen to me or you can repeat the words after me if something comes out of you that makes you want to add something that might be more personal to you, go ahead. 
okay? Everyone who has ever hurt you in the past is just a distraction, stumping your growth. And you will grow once you realize that all of them who hurt you from your past no longer matter. They are unimportant to you in the present. What's important now is that you turn inwards. This is your reality, your playground, your manifestation. Let all of them go and turn inwards. So even though I have these beliefs that I'm not wanted, that I am not secure, that I am not chosen, these are just cellular patterns, memories of old thoughts that no longer matter. I am the chosen one in my reality because this is what I chose because I chose to be here and I stand by myself completely and utterly and I give my body permission to purge those unwanted beliefs that hold me back and I deeply and completely trust, love, and accept myself. Now we're going to go to the side of the eyebrow and we're going to say this tap is all about giving my body permission to purge the beliefs that are bothering me, to purge these beliefs that might be keeping me back from reaching that next level, from reaching that manifestation that might be holding me back from becoming my better self, from feeling better, from feeling amazing. I just want to release them and let them go. As a child, and oftentimes throughout my life, I felt abandoned. As an adult, I want to feel wanted and chosen by me. I want to feel rock solid in my own self-acceptance. Move to under the eye. I have some unwanted beliefs based on experiences in my childhood. There is some sadness, some abandonment, some fears of not being wanted or chosen by the person that I want and chose. And I want to let them go. I want to let these fears and these negative unwanted beliefs go. I give my body permission. I give permission to all of me my physical and emotional body, my cellular self, to process this release. To release all of these beliefs that no longer support me. Move on to the next tab. These beliefs that I am not wanted or chosen are based on how I was made to feel by others maybe in my childhood, maybe as an adult, maybe growing up. And I now choose to release and let them go. I give my body permission to purge these beliefs out of me and out of my energy field. This anxiety that I sometimes feel in my body because of these beliefs and these fears, I choose to release and let it go now. Move on. This anxiety that sometimes triggers in my physical body, 
it's not helpful. There is no danger, there is no threat in this present moment. So I choose to release it and let it go. I am allowing my body to purge all of these old traumas, all of these things that were done and said to me. I just want to release and let them go. I now choose to turn inwards. This is not about anything external. The outside is just a reflection of the inside. There is no one to change but self. Whatever I want externally from others, I must first become. Now we're gonna go back to the eye, to the eyebrow. I want to feel wanted and chosen internally. I want to be me. I want to like who I am becoming. I want to be proud of myself. Move on to the next one. I want myself. I want me. I want all of me. And I choose to accept myself just as I am. Under the eye. I am okay with me. I don't want to be anyone else but me. I love me. Move on. I choose myself. I choose me. I choose myself because I am the chosen one in my reality. Because this is my reality. I am the chosen one in my reality because I chose to be here. I chose to be me. Move on. I want to be proud of myself. I want to like who I am becoming. I want me. I want myself. And I love myself. I choose me. I choose me. I am wanted and chosen within. I am wanted and chosen within. And if I am wanted and chosen within, then that will be reflected on the outside. Because the outside is just a projection of the inside. Once I want me, everyone else will want me. Once I choose me and I feel chosen, everyone else will choose me. There is nothing out there. It is just a projection. You choose yourself, you feel chosen, it will be reflected on the outside. Everyone on the outside are just messengers telling you what your real beliefs are. You are chosen. You are the chosen one in your reality because this is your reality. You are wanted and you are wanted with it. I trust myself. I trust who I am becoming. I am proud of myself. I am proud of myself. And I know, I know that the more that I learn, the more that I let go of things that no longer serve me, the brighter I shine. I am becoming my best version. It is my time to glow up. And I deeply and completely trust, honor, and accept myself. And I give thanks. I give thanks. So bring me the best of everything 
that I can receive right now. I'll stop tapping, take a deep breath in. Relax and let go. Well done. You might purge with this, not might, you will purge with this. It is very important that you remember that that is what is happening. Whatever comes up for you, treat yourself with gentleness, with love. You're letting things out that might have been there for years. Keep going. The more that you tap, the more that you chip away at the problems, the more you become whole, the more you become the perfect version that you already are. It's just covered up by all that muck. Use this tapping session in combination with the sleep meditation that I dropped a few weeks ago. You can do this in the morning, after work, or at nighttime. And then you could listen to the sleep meditation while you sleep. And if you want, you can listen to the sleep meditation or any other self-love meditation while you work, while you do any chores. They don't have any type of music that will put you to sleep, so you can listen as much as you want. Because what you might know by now is that when you're starting to manifest and when you're starting to try to put in all of these positive affirmations, you get these negative feelings and with tapping, you're going to purge all of those negative feelings so that the positive affirmations are able to actually sink in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Give it a like. If you want to work with me, my information is in the description box below. Also, leave me any questions. Leave me any um ideas you might have for future videos anything you want me to speak on let me know in the comments below i love you guys you will get through this and until next time bye